Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 4 of Let's Play Commander Keen 5 The Armageddon Machine, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, we're gonna go to Defense Tunnel Burr. I wonder if it's actually pretty cold. Oh, you were so close, but no cigar. Just death. Which, ironically, if you have plenty of cigars, you're likely to experience death. I guess, I mean, he smoked too much, whether it's cigarettes, or cigars, or pot. It's gonna be bad for ya. That being said, however, I'm not here to discuss health issues, I'm here to discuss, like, inflicting death upon robots. That one actually managed to escape. Oh, there was two. Fair enough. Okay, so... What's our objective here? Well, obviously we still need to get through the main elevator, which we're actually very close to doing because we have like uh, three of them taken care of. Like three of the uh, defense areas that block the main elevator, and we're on our way to the last one. Which hopefully we don't run into any problems. I would like to that gray robot to come over here so I can shoot it. Eventually, any day now? Okay, fine, I'll go after it myself. Yeah, it actually worked out. Oh god, there was a second one. There's a ton of enemies here in this level. I can understand why they want to defend it so much. You know, given once we destroy it, then we're pretty much at the core. Okay, that's the trapdoor we just disabled. I don't know if it's going to be safe if I drop down right away. God knows, as soon as I drop down, there's going to be one of those hollow dogs. What's over this way? Nothing. Thought there'd be like an alternate route that leads somewhere. Oh, I could have got that. Now I did. Well, that was a bit too close to me. I don't know if those guns can actually hurt you if they're active, but not actually shooting yet. Oh jeez, I know one thing that's gonna kill me if it touches me. And I'm not talking about AIDS, either. I'm talking about that. Hmm. I should go now. Oh, there's also another problem, is that pink robot. Oh, not anymore. Because what if I actually get hit by the pink robot while I'm actually avoiding red robo? Because that can happen too. I did not realize there was a second one. That actually helped out. It allowed me to avoid a major catastrophe. Oh, geez. I don't know if he can shoot through that. So I am going to get out of dodge while I still can. Even though I'm technically not in dodge, I don't understand what that saying means. Okay, I guess I'm not going to worry about those points. I'm sure there's a way to get up there once I go further on. However, I'm not really looking for that way. Because, like, whose line is anywhere? The points don't matter. Uh, do I even have the yellow key? Well, I got some points. I should probably just go straight on here. That's not gonna fire, that's good. But I'll need a blue key. It's always with the damn keys for this game, let me tell ya. And I'm gonna need the security key as well. Did I get the green key earlier? No. Okay, I need the green key for that, which I need the blue key. And to get the blue key, I need to go through that door. And to get through that door, I'm guessing I need the yellow key? It's gonna be silly when I find out I already had that key all along. I probably didn't even bother to check. I'm gonna feel like such an idiot in the very end. Oh yeah, I did get that key. It was probably around Red Robo. Makes sense. That's what I get for being an idiot. Oh, points! And there we go. 
more ammo, which I'm already at max. But I can still shoot beyond 99, it just can't show triple digits. Understandable, I guess. Whoops, that did not work out. Hmm. There, I just want to get out of there. Okay, now let's go back to where that door was. Can't forget about those snowflakes of doom. You don't want to touch those. Okay, blue key. Hello, green key. Goodbye, green key. Hello, door key. And we're out! Well, that was not a very hard level at all. Now in the regulation control center. <laughs> goes nuts. Oh, I'm really gonna go nuts now with all this ammo. Oh, found the red key already. I found a switch. Okay, it didn't do anything with that trap door. I'm guessing it did something with a platform. Whoop! Oh, don't even try it. Okay, that gun's active. Both guns are active. Now that trap door should be disabled. Yep, it is. Good. Uh, I should probably climb this pole now. And take my time, because I don't want to touch those. I would like to touch that yellow key, though. Look at me, I'm pool dancing just like my ma used to do! Well, not my ma, I'm talking through Keen. Speaking of ma, that might be her on the phone. So, give me a moment there. Okay, I have returned. That was just a quick phone call. Mom just want to see how I was doing, and she's coming over for a visit as well. Which is nice, because she lives on the other side of the island. So I barely get any time to spend with her. With that being said, I'm sure she doesn't mind that I'm killing robots, even though I never really told her I was killing robots. I mean, why would I tell her that? I have a life outside LPing, you know. Much to the surprise of many people. Uh... If I hug the left, would I be safe? Actually, I think I can make a jump for that gun. Oh my god, I can actually climb that pipe. I didn't think you could. Whoa, whoa, hoo -hoo. Got a little too close for comfort when I unlocked that. There, by activating that switch, I should be able to advance. No passages, fair enough. Okay, I see the blue key right away. Oh, and I see a robot to scrap. Uh, I'm guessing if I go down, I'm not going to be able to make my way back up. Unless there is an alternate route, and I believe there is. Wait. What if I go down here? Is it safe? Don't even think about it, hugger. I think we best to just unlock it through this side. Because what if I get trapped? Either way, I'm going to drop down here. Might as well unlock it. In case I need to backtrack. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, oh, oh my god, that was so close! Frig me sideways and every angle known to man. Jesus, that was so close. Oh my god, he can keep going, can he? You can't get me from here, can he? Uh, just barely. Uh, how are we going to approach this? Good question. Well, first of all, we're going to save. That should be the obvious number one step through this entire strategy. And how the hell I'm going to survive this ordeal? Oh, please tell me he's not going to go back to the left again. Wait, I can just jump over him! Of course! Why didn't I think of that? Oh, jeez. Oh, wow! Biggest threat in the game dies to a weak enemy. <laughs> Logic abound. 
Good thing the terrain's like this. Where to go? Is he going back? I don't feel good about that. So I want him to come back here. You should be coming back to me. Okay, just get on the top of the hill so I can just lure him out, and then I can escape. Oh, until unless that happens. Well, that did not work according to plan. Let's reload again. Oh, jeez. Can't say I'm happy about this. Well, that worked. And he can't really get over this. Because I'm thinking he cannot. Doesn't look that possible. Oh, well, doesn't look possible, period. So, to save myself the trouble, because I had to go through that, like, multiple times, let's not go through that again. I can't reach that, apparently. Because I'll have to go this way. I have a feeling we're nearing the end of the game. I mean, oh, jeez. That sounds so annoying. I should just kill that enemy for the sake of my ears. That sounds so abrasive. Is it important for me to go this way first? Those platforms are ro- Oh, jeez! That, that's a big shrapnel bomb. Did not see that enemy before. Good thing I was able to avoid it on the first try. Oh god, there's another one. Uh, I can track you. I don't know how the hell I'm going to be able to destroy that. Do I have to, like, detonate it with my near presence? Please tell me it's not able to track me so efficiently. Oh my god, it can. It's gonna home, isn't it? If I wait for it to detonate and then I just get out of there, I should be safe. Like so. Okay, that worked. I can go activate that switch. I uh, just remember I did see another one. So I gotta think about an appropriate strategy given that the shrapnel can go a long distance. Oh my god, there's two of them. Hmm, that works. Was it the enemy that I was able to do the trick? Because, I mean, the shrapnel can't really rise. So, technically, this is a safe zone. Yeah, we might as well just end it here. Beautiful. Alright, it's toast. Now the main elevator is available to us. Okay, and I believe this was it. Hmm, there's a switch over there. I don't know what it does, but I guess we'll find out later. The Gravitational Damping Hub. Uh... What the hell is that thing? Whatever it is, it just moves around. Can that thing even hurt me? Yes, it can. Okay, and apparently it has a good way of tracking you. I don't know if it can actually go left or right. If it can, that's gonna make it for a threatening enemy. It moves pretty fast. I have a bad feeling about that guy. Hopefully I don't see him again. Okay. I don't want to get on that like a uh, static platform. Whoa! 
do however want to activate that. And deactivate that. If you get my drift. Ooh, I almost walked too close to that enemy. Music sounds a bit jazzy. I, I do like it to some extent, though it's not the best track in the game. Okay, that one can shoot. The other ones can't. So what I'm worried about is the timing of these shots. I knew it was too good to be true. Well, luckily you can actually use two platforms. And thankfully they're not completely parallel. The path is parallel. Oh my god, I almost went into that by accident. Okay, I remember this one. It's okay. Oh my god, how the hell do you solve that? They move so damn fast. Like, you have to alternate from platform to platform. I think I should probably save once the platform gets there. That way I don't have to wait for it again. Oh my god, this part's gonna be so bad. Okay, that's bull right there. Now the pattern seems to have changed. Am I gonna have to, like, save in right in the middle of all this? Because this part's crap. Okay, that was my fault. I actually walked off the damn platform. Ugh, that, that's awful. Okay, I made it. Unfortunately, those blasters are not disabled. Oh my god, look at this. Keen is like, look at this. I am looking at this, Keen, and I am disappointed. <laughs> this massive challenge. Oh my god, now I gotta wait even more, because I'm an idiot. Wait. Oh my god, I could have done this! I mean, look! This part makes it so easy! Well, not all of it is easy. Can I actually jump in between this? Let's find out. No, I can't. Did I get a one-up while dying? Okay, that that is very unusual. Oh, well, that, that was my bad altogether. I forgot that one was active. I think what I should do is wait till this platform go back to the right and then jump on it from here. That that actually works. I actually thought I can just return all the way to the right through this way. But no, that, that'd be too easy. I was wishfully thinking, of course, that that had nothing to do with that one. So I gotta find another switch? Oh, well, guess we gotta find another switch. But where would it be? Thankfully, I don't have to go back to that again. I'm pretty sure I did activate that switch much earlier. Oh, I can probably go this way now. You die now. Um, what is that? I don't know. But I think it tries to lock on to you. I have a feeling if I touch it, of course, I'm gonna die. Like, everything kills you in this game. Am I safe here? Surprisingly, I am! Yeah, yeah, get out of that spot. 
Can this guy, like, that rotating, orbiting creature manipulate gravity? I'm thinking it has some effect on it. Uh, I'm worried. Because I'll probably land right on top of that enemy. Because it's not the fire sticks that kill you, that thing definitely will. Okay, I got the green key, good. Nice stash of ammo. Now, I gotta find where the door was. It wasn't down here, for sure. Is it safe to go this way? Let's find out. So I'm sure I had most of the threats taken care of. Oh yeah, I forgot about that guy. That's right. I saw a locked door right at the start. Mm. Yeah, I figure it's best to wait for that hand to not be facing down. I practically have to go back through all this again. If there's one thing I can't say about this level, the music is jazzy, but the level itself is so repetitive. Like you're constantly just going back and forth, non-stop. Okay, now we can finally go up here, good. Because there was progress made, I am definitely going to save. Somewhat rhymes, but accept it. I'm not made to be Father Goose, okay? That's pretty much the only way to get through that door. And I did get that security key earlier. I'm on to you. After going through, like, the hardest part. Oh my god, we could... We can nearly finish the game right here. I mean, this is the last area! So, in the next episode, why don't we complete this game once and for all? Goodbye, everybody.